Good morning. We are back with another vlog. As promised, haven't vlogged in ages. And some of you guys have been asking for some gym content. So here we are back at the Belgian Mecca of natural bodybuilding, GT Fitness. Today I'll be training back with my young gun, Victor, who's already inside, I hope. And the idea is just to give you guys an idea on how I've been training, take you through my sets, my rep range, and the exercises that I prefer to build my back. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get it. So like I said, I'm here with my young gun, Victor. He's only 24 years old, so literally 10 years younger than me. He's about two inches taller, and absolutely jacked already. So we're gonna be doing back today. I'll tell you guys, like I said, what I like to do for back. So this right here, this pull down, technology and pull down, one of my favorites, but I have a little twist to it. I'll hand you the camera so you can film me so I can explain technology and pull down. Now I like to reverse engineer it and actually sit backwards on it. You see a lot of people pulling a lot of weight and they got their knees locked under those pads. They're not really using your lats for that. You're kind of cheating. So I figured I like to turn around and really just put all the weight on my lats. Also enable my cart to keep the weight stable and keep pulling down. And that way I just feel way better results in general as it pertains to really hitting the lats. The hardest thing about back training is actually hitting the back muscle and not using your biceps, especially also for, for someone like me, I'm very bicep dominant. My arms always tend to take over. So I, I'm always looking for ways to try and take the arms out of it. you guys were able to tell that I'm literally levitating almost if I could just get in if I could just get in a little bit I will come up because the pads are not holding me down now let's talk about rep range such an essential part of building muscle and something I really messed up probably the first decade of training I used to just hammer away watching enhanced bodybuilders go for a bunch of sets and a bunch of reps and just has a ton of volume, I would do 10, 12 reps. Cause what you get is you get a great pump. You feel like you're doing something, but if you're a natural lifter, it's gonna be hard to grow that way. So what I did in the last couple of years, and what really allowed me to take a huge leap was go three to eight reps in terms of range. So first set is usually a lot of set to really get the movement going. And I'll do 10 reps just, you know, to make sure I have, the, I have the movement down. Then the second set will be eight reps. Try to keep two reps in the tank. Then I'll add weight, it'll be seven to six reps. And then the third and fourth set, you can get down to five reps and just go as heavy as you can. If you're a natural lifter, you need to go heavy. You need to stimulate that muscle or you're not gonna grow. So this is our second set on this. We just did our warm up set. Also an absolute favorite of mine, the fake Techno Gym, because it's not a real one, can you spot the difference? If you can tell the difference, comment below. Um, but I, I love his exercises. It's a row, you know, you're training back, you're always rowing, you're always pulling weight. So, but I just love this movement because you're in a fixed position and you can really put all the strength on, once again, the lat.
so next up, lat pull down. Guys, I just wanna stress, it's not so much about the exercises that you do. I think way too many people, including me, in the beginning of my journey, get too caught up on which exercises to use. Look, we think that certain exercises have magic properties as it pertains to muscle building, and it's simply not the case. I definitely learned that less is more. Take a few exercises that you're comfortable with, a few exercises that you can really load up on, and try to go as heavy as you can. You really don't need more than four exercises to train a, a body part. So today we're actually doing a little bit more because we're trying to hit cool angles for the vlog. But generally, I don't hit more than four different exercises. I'll literally do six to seven sets per exercise and then do like three different exercises and focus on progressive overload. And that's just the main thing. Like, building muscle is not that hard. You just have to train a little bit harder and put on a little bit more weight every time. Not every time, but gradually. If you're still pushing the same weight one year down the line, you're not doing anything and the body's not gonna change. So that being said, now we're gonna hit the lat pull down. As you can also probably tell, I like to start with exercises. The heaviest first and like a lat pull down is relatively easy, so I I do that like fourth or fifth. So that'll be the next one now. The OG, OG muscle. If you still look at this, if you still look like this, at his age, you're doing something right. next set I just want to stress something once again guys I am 34 that's why I'm finally starting to look half decent now this is what happens if you put it at work and you stay patient all throughout my 20s I was usually usually the skinny guy who didn't have a lot of muscle compared to some of my friends who were using stuff or were, were you know already older than me and I know for a lot of young guys it's tempting to give in do that quick fix, you know, hop on steroids, take some gear, they're gonna blow up. You don't have to. All you have to do is stay consistent and it'll feel so much better once you get there. Like, you know what's funny? I always used to say, I'm never gonna reach a physique that I'm satisfied with. And I think that's something that resonates with a lot of people in bodybuilding. Like, I'm, you know, never satisfied, proud, but never there. You know what? Call me vain, but I can honestly say, looking at myself in the mirror today, I'm pretty damn happy with where I'm at. Doesn't mean I'm not trying to get better, but if this is the way I would look for the rest of my life, I would be more than content with that. You see what I'm saying? Like, and and I also got stuck in that body, this Northeast stage where I would get upset. Like I was watching Chess Side and all those guys, and I thought I had to be lean. And that cost me years of progress. Trying to be lean and make progress at the same time is impossible. I was not eating enough because I thought I should be shredded. When in reality, I just looked skinny and I was putting in all this work, but not putting in the calories. So about a year and a half ago, I finally started upping the calories more and I just took a, a huge leap. So you can do it too if you stay consistent, put in the calories and put in the work. All right, let's, uh, let's switch for the vlog. four exercises in one two three four so what I like to do for back is once I started getting a little bit fatigued pull-ups and a lot of people always ask me about my my arms my biceps I'm telling you pull-ups 
will blow up your biceps and your back. I mean, it honestly astounds me how few people, how little people actually do pull-ups in the gym. And then what, what I see a lot is people doing weighted pull-ups, which is fine. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying that like a fifth exercise when you're doing back, pull-ups is a great exercise to plug in there because you're already fatigued. You don't need to add a weight to it. Like I don't like doing weighted pull-ups because I, I feel like it's a, it's a weird, awkward feeling to have the weight dangling in the your legs. I just don't like it. So I prefer to just power out my back and then do pull-ups. So if you're not doing pull-ups, get on pull-ups. All right, so I'm gonna try to hit 10. Let's see what we got. five exercises for back now, four to five sets each, which is already a ton, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but because we're doing a vlog, I figured we might as well give the people what they want, some biceps. So classic bodybuilding exercise. We call these 20 ones, and does you say in and 20. And it basically means bicep curls, two weights, seven reps partially up until the half, then seven reps partially from the half to the top, and then seven full reps. So we have 21 in total. Guys, keep the weight down on this one because it's absolutely gruesome. And if you've been paying attention to what I've been saying, I hope you can, you're seeing a pattern. I start off with the heavy stuff, low reps, strength, and then later on I go for the pump high rep, high volume. So best of both worlds is the idea. Okay. Just did 21s for doubles. Switch it up. Let's do it with barbell. Try this one if you haven't tried it yet. Oh my. How do you feel? Pretty good. <laughs> this guy is 24 years old. I literally had a decade on him and in those exercises he's just as strong as me now. You guys know back is my absolute strongest muscle group so I still got him beat with back but bicep wise he's just as strong. We did chest the other day. I couldn't even keep up. He was stronger so I'm very excited about his future to see where he can take it. So comment below what do you think about Victor's physique for the age of 24 natural. 
And think about it, guys. He's taller than me, so it's really hard to look good and thick and muscular being that tall. Thank you.